Mike and I listen to this. Let's go. 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 Sometimes the employees at the American Jewelry and Loan Store have to deal with some of the most mentally challenged customers ever. Hi, how you doing today? I'm good today. I wanted to find something nice for my son. I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Things were moving at their normal pace. Well, they were until this woman suddenly claimed that she couldn't find her device. Where the hell is my f phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I just let my f Did you take my phone? Take your phone. Don't touch me, yo. yo you better yo, get you off me, because I... It's quite clear that she never dropped her phone on the glass when she walked in. Karen was even willing to attest to that. There's no phone there. Was, I laid my phone there. Lady. That's my damn phone. You see your I know you better back your ass up. Yo, my yo, y'all better get this lady because I ain't got nothing. Please, yo, listen, 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 listen. Crazy. I'm out of here. This woman's either crazy or way too slow since she refused to listen despite the fact that Karen, who was an eyewitness to this entire affair, had pledged this poor lady's innocence. Nobody don't got time yeah. for this, yo. Get this old ass lady you off You better get me. my phone. You better yeah, your damn it. business. Ma'am, go check your car. Quit beating up on that girl. You let that little hooker walk away with my phone. She didn't walk away with nothing. She just walked. Yeah, all right. The customer came in looking to sell a watch that he got from his grandmother since he was in desperate need of cash to get back home. Dallas. Dallas, what are you doing in Detroit? I'm working, trying to get home though. Huh. It's too cold. Well, you should have <laughs> on a jacket. What you got here? A watch my grandmother gave me. Uh -huh. Despite being a pawn shop, the American Jewelry and Loan Store also dabbled in the sale of high-end watches too. And this watch didn't exactly make the cut. The problem is the metal on it is just stainless steel. And if you look, I see gold, but it's not gold. Rather than try to exit with dignity after Les showed him everything wrong with his watch, this guy decided to tread the warpath instead. Can't give me nothing. I'm sorry. Can I talk to somebody that knows what they're doing? How about your chain? You want to pawn me your chain? This is a bunch of bull man. I want to pawn my watch. Les wasn't going to indulge his very rude behavior just because he was desperate. He had to get him out of the store, and he needed to do it fast. Let me tell you, you talk to my jeweler. Yes, sir. Here you go. Now, this guy's been in the jewelry business all of his life. I want 500. Nothing. Stop being a bitch. This is the worst pawn shop in the city. Les's actions when he tossed the watch to the ground were a bit uncalled for, but the guy was to blame too, after all. He'd refused to pick it up when they asked nicely. Yo, you, get him here. Let's go, my man. Have a good day, sir. Have a good, have a good day, sir. Have a good day, my man. Yes, sir. Ashley had always been the go-to person for fashion items at the store, and having accrued a lot of experience, her judgment's always been respected. I'm doing okay. What can I have you with? Either trying to get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to sell it for maybe like one fifty. Well, maybe if you can tell, off. it's actually stained. Okay. The nasty stain is a huge problem, and it might be the reason why the lady's trying to sell her authentic bag in the first place. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than fifty. If you know purses, then you know that it costs way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. Can I so talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni-looking ass. Can I get somebody My pepperoni-looking ass. After insulting Ashley anyhow she pleases, she really thought she could just ask to see somebody else? Well, Ashley's about to show her how petty she can be. Can, can I, I talk to somebody nope. else? Why do I have to talk to you? Because you disrespectful. I'm, I'm disrespectful and yes. you call me a pepperoni ass? Ugly ass bitch. Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. This guy walked into the store hoping to get his wife an anniversary present for her, using her grandmother's jewelry for an exchange. How romantic. Hey, how are you? Brian, I'm last. Nice to meet you. I need to get a watch for my wife's anniversary. Oh, it's not your anniversary, too? Well, yeah, it is mine, too. After checking it under the lens, Les managed to confirm if this piece of jewelry is a fake or not. And when it came time to give his answer, the customer wasn't exactly pleased with what he had to say. Well, do you really want me to tell you what I think? I tell me the truth. They're not real. Okay, I don't think it is, but if you say it is, we'll go. What are you going to give me for this? I want to trade for a watch. It's fake. I'm not interested. This customer might have a huge hearing problem, despite all of Les's attempts to tell this man that he's not interested in his fake item. 
Yet the guy just kept on badgering him. You're married, right? I am. Okay, I've seen your wife. Lucky you. Yeah, lucky me. I don't think so. There's two things you don't talk about. What's that? My wife and my family. Oh, kids? Now here's the deal. The little boy and that fat-ass daughter of yours. The guy's really crossed the line he shouldn't have crossed. Walking into a man's business and threatening his family is a stupid thing to do. You know what, mother Come on over here. Get off of me. Don't. Where you, you got to go? Please. Why do you got to push? I will go to the ends of the earth to defend my family. Period. Let's go. In this episode, this very odd customer thought it'd be a pretty good idea to just keep items that he hasn't paid for in his pocket, and he eventually learns that that isn't tolerated at all. I'm looking for cameras. What kind of good cameras you yeah, got? Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, so some point oh, and shoot okay, right over here. here. All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. You just want me to ring you up? Seth, who was dumbfounded by his casual act of just storing the camera without a care in the world, immediately made sure to speak out on that. I'm still going to be shopping around. That's fine. Let's pay for it now, and then you can keep it in your pocket, and then you can keep shopping. Why can't I just pay for everything at the end of shopping? Then I'll hold the camera until you're ready. But it makes no sense. I'm going to buy the You know camera. what? The, the best part of being the owner of this place, it doesn't have to make sense to everybody as long as it makes sense to me. The real nonsense here is the fact that he's finding it hard to just drop the camera and let him hold it for him till he's done shopping. If he really wants to get it, it shouldn't be too hard for him to pay for it. Right then, right there. Well, it sounds to me like you're trying to call me a thief. I ain't no, no thief. What I'm trying to tell you is that's the rule, so take that out of your pocket now. Your store is a bunch of you can leave, sir. I'd like to be able to walk around the store, and then I'll show you my money. Having had enough of the nonsense that he's been spouting, Seth asked to have this guy tossed out of the store immediately. Byron, clock his ass out. Good day, brother. No, I, no, you won't let me buy it? Have a nice day, sir. I'm still shopping. In this episode, two ladies walked in looking upon their jewelry. As he normally would, Les tried to start a conversation with them. I'm here to pawn these earrings. Okay trying to get $350 for him. Why do you need the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. Pound my mother jewelry. Les should have known better and just minded his own business, but he decided to go ahead and ask another unnecessary question later that was met with outrage from the duo. How many kids you got? I'm coming in here with my jewelry to get money. How many kids you got? She just told you. They are real earrings. They're just not real diamonds. They are. No, they're yes, not. The Having worked with diamonds for a long time, Les should definitely be a master at picking out what's real and what's not. But the women don't seem satisfied at all with what he said. And what's the deal, dude? No, Dang, just, we just having just, a conversation yeah, with this man, yeah, but he just can't he's, even breathe. Is how you treat your customers when they come in here? I ain't leaving this bitch till you, you give me my money. money. And that was the final straw for Les. Before they could get even wilder than they were now, he decided to have them escorted out of the store. Time to go. No. Okay. I don't want you touch well, me. Yo, wrinkled up probably ain't had no in years. Supposed to be jewelry and long. Boy ass shot. Waggedy mother Looking to get herself a new watch, this customer walked into the shop and approached Ashley and Karen, who were both happy to help. Hi, I'm looking for a watch. Buy me about $100. I got $100 to spend. All right, do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. Okay. It's really pretty. It's really Looks pretty. good on you. She's found her fit, it seems. Now all that's left was for her to pay for the watch, and that's where things went bad. No. What is this? It's a hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. These are not our gift cards. That no. is not our gift card. Despite Ashley taking the time to explain how things are to this woman as concisely as possible, she still managed to exhibit an exhausting level of ignorance that was quite befuddling. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing a hundred dollars? What is she gonna say? Y'all don't understand up in here. The ugliest two sisters I've ever seen in my life. Are you not sister? Hey, hey, sister? Since she's shown herself to be someone incapable of being reasoned with, she was tossed out of the store where she belongs. Hey, walk up. I need my money. What's so mad for? Go ahead. Man, they took my money, man. Somebody want a hundred dollars. On one of their busiest days ever, this customer came in to pick up an item his daughter had placed in pawn a while back. Pick up some stuff for my daughter. Is it in pawn? Yes, ma'am. You have the ticket? No, she called down here and said I could pick it up while I was down well, here. Without the ticket, we can't give it to you. Well, I, hey, is there anybody I can talk to who owns the place or a manager or something? Me. 
The man immediately got upset when they refused to hand his daughter's item over, a system set in place to protect each customer's items. What kind of business you running? A legitimate one. How did you steal a people's stuff? I'm not stealing anything. I bet you weren't talking, give me my stuff. If you were out here, I'd get my stuff. I'm not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, go back down here just for a ticket. Instead of trying to find an alternative solution or trying to reach common ground with Les, the old goof decided to go off the rails and start a shouting match with Les. And what's he going to do? I took alligators bigger than him. I ain't scared of him. Yeah, but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother. Okay, stop. I'll tell you what, big boy. Byron eats alligators for lunch. Occasionally, the Golds have to handle a few customers who've come back looking to get a refund for an item that had already been tested at the store before they took it home. I came here the other day to purchase this laptop. You turned the laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then oh, it, it just shut off. Went off. We can charge you to fix it. It was already $200. Oh, no. like, you, you cannot see? charge us for something we bought. To kick back against the huge loss, the American Jewelry and Loan Store actually has a no refund policy in place. Show me the receipt. We don't, we don't have, have the receipt. You have to have the receipt. Wait, wait. Well, I don't want to hear we'll that. We spent our money here with I don't want to hear that. Do you have another one in the bag? I have a lot of them. They didn't even have a receipt, which is a huge error on their part. Les can send them back home without even giving them a replacement if he feels like it. What are you yelling at me for? Because you are acting stupid. It doesn't work. So you selling broke. Take this computer. Take it on home with you. Go back. Your stuff. Their whining was deafening. Fortunately, Byron was close by and ready to get him out. How much can I listen to this? Please, let's go. After they got wind of a commotion taking place in the store, Les, Bobby J, and Seth raced to the scene immediately to get a grasp of whatever was going on. We're checking out this here couch, you know, and uh, my man walks over, knocks over the lamp. I picked it up to be a nice guy, protect y'all's establishment. My man blaming that on me. I don't know how I, got know. I saw you knock it over, bud. And that's the reaction of a guilty man who knows he's been caught. All they need to do is squeeze the money for the lamp out of him. That's I'm not paying question. for the lamp. I yeah, thought we went through this. I am. I'm crazy, mother. How crazy are you? Crazy enough. How crazy? To I do what? Check. To do what? Whip your ass, old man. You don't want to be. Having been lied to initially, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to believe Byron wanted to rough this guy up pretty badly. Hey, get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh, Byron, God. it's time for him to go. I get up? I got him, sir. A guy needed help. Yeah, come on, son. I dare you. People do a lot of crazy things. But just when it seemed like he was getting geared up to actually fight Byron, this guy decided to do the unthinkable, cementing his status as either a genius or a really crazy person. Oh, what the f Good God. God. <laughs> really? This woman was not the only thing her ex-husband did. He also gave her a fake ring, and she just couldn't handle that fact very well. How long were you married? 13 years. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so I need some cash. Okay. He gave me this ring, and I want to see how much I can get for it. It's going to be under a thousand. Under a thousand? Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, because you have a little chip on the side of your stone. Oh, let's just go somewhere else. No, you don't know a damn thing. Poor woman. No husband. You want to try to hustle me. You must think I'm stupid. Byron the Snuggle Bus has a job waiting for the woman's son if he ever wants to be a security guard for the pawn shop. He did impressive work with his mom. You want to get her before I get her? Yeah, mom, let's go. This is, this wait, this I'm not going. Yeah, this is stopping me. Hey, what? This. This man's seven foot tall. You don't know who you're messing with. Get on over here. Damn it. Oh, you're powerful. Yes. Woo! <laughs> I've never seen this like that. You need a job, young man? A woman comes in demanding money for a beat up printer. She ends up in the arms of the pawn shop security man and then out of the store. Hi, my name is Dominique and I wanted to uh, find this printer for $30. You gonna give me $30 today, right now. I need this $30. You can get $30. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get $30. No, nice I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about it being busted up. We're not taking it. No, no, y'all gonna take it. Y'all gonna take this printer. Okay. Dad. Dad. Now it's time to go. Go. So she throws it down on the ground, breaks it to pieces, 
and then we had to escort her out. This woman pondered golf clubs but still wants them back. She thinks playing ignorant can intimidate the staff to give her what's already been sold. What are we doing today? Just getting out my golf clubs. Your clubs. Yep. You sold the clubs to us. You didn't pawn them. I clearly have a clear head. I've been sober a lot longer than you're today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bunch. Really? Really. She then insulted Les, his staff, and his religion. This lady needed to leave the store, and Les' security guard made sure it happened. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Let me make this perfectly honest. Uh, let me let make me, it perfectly clear. Better, Anyone down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. Bitch. Get your hands off of me. Go outside. Get your hands off of me. Get your damn mother hands off of me. This bitch had to go. Ma'am, no. go yourself. The most immature customers fight over a coat. Ashley decides they're not worth the trouble, but even security has a hard time breaking up the childish fight. This is my no, jacket. No, no. I just put that there. Oh, you didn't have your hands on it. No, I just put that no. there. Get me my jacket. Oh. Hey, hey, I'm taking this home. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just put it on my touch okay. a customer in here. I'm taking the coat home. Nobody's taking the coat home. Both of you guys go. No. Nobody gets the coat. No. no. Okay. Nobody gets the coat. Nobody gets the coat. I want the coat. Nobody's gonna get the coat. Yeah. Whatever. No. You. You. Whatever. You. You. Bitch. This next customer doesn't have a receipt, but wants a replacement phone. Rich decides security should escort him off of the premises. So, man. Hey, what's up, dog? How you doing? Well, I just got this phone that I bought here like two, three days ago, and this don't work. As soon as you give me that receipt, I can see what I can do for you. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. I was going to clearly have to knock his freaking head off. You didn't buy that from us? Yes, I clearly did. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on over here. You can go back to selling that computer. No, hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch him and let him go. It's a simple question. Does this phone work? You know what, Joel? Can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot. Don't touch my phone, Show, show dog. him how the phone works outside. Why are you touching me? OK, just don't touch me again. Two angry rednecks stir up some trouble when the pawn shop doesn't want their outdated hardware. Out of the blue, an elderly woman puts the rednecks in their place. No security's needed this time. Oh. How you guys doing? Good. Got some equipment here. Yeah. We need some money, we're going to out west. Most people don't get that aggravated when they bring in, like, ancient artifacts. Yeah, they people want... collect these. Oh, they're antiques now. You don't have to be a smart ass I'm not about trying to be a smart ass, I'm trying to help you Give us a thing, man. You know, I couldn't give them anything for these computers, but it's good to know ZZ Top is still in Detroit. Now you should have that Put it in the dumpster if you want. The friend of the man who came in to get a friendship or engagement ring is the only guy who got thrown out, and for a good reason. He was just looking out for his friend. Friendship ring? A friendship ring? Yes. Nice friendship ring for my friend. What, what does that mean? Um, I really love her. Yeah. You know, she's more than a friend. Right. Ooh. No, that's you not a friendship ring, though. No, it's an engagement yeah, ring. My, Enga but you just said you were a friendship don't worry, ring. My, I'm dealing with him. Please mind your business. So, carrot 75. But it's no, his God, money. Yeah. Who are you? No, yeah, you can't spend my money. I'm, that ring probably costs $2,000. 4500 4500 I'm getting a deal. Why you I can't get a deal? You lost your my damn mind. You lost your, everything is up now in my mind. Don't worry about it, sir. You know, we're we're is open till up, six. Man. Why are you so mad that he's spending the fifteen hundred though? Because he's my friend. Who the hell go and spend fifteen hundred on something? When a man can't get twenty bucks, he assaults a tree and runs away before security can stop him. Byron gives him some good advice before he goes. I would like to get a loan on this, please. Okay, how much would you like? A hundred dollars. Okay, I can do the hundred dollars. Okay, I get my hundred plus another twenty percent, which make one twenty. No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? I need my $20. I want $100. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me prove my point. Hey, stand up. My man, let this go. Can I get my money? No, hey. actually, I'm not even offering you the $100 anymore. Oh, for real? Not, yeah, for real. You in that $120. Hey, thank you. Appreciate tail, that. Sir. I'm taking the sign with me. I'm going to get something out this bro. I'm going you down for the sign, my man. Laptop pawn goes all wrong, and now security has to escort this angry woman out of the store. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Like your nail polish colors. Thank you. What do we got here? A uh, laptop. A laptop. Try again. There you go. Perfect. And how much did you want to get on this today? 
at least 165. I'm here to help you. Okay, well, you have a really, really bad attitude. It's like you don't like your job. You don't like your job. You shouldn't work here, sweetheart. I'm sorry. You really shouldn't. You want me to help you? Your worst mistake is to tell me off. If you can't do 165, then I can take my business somewhere else. Flat out. You done? You know, I don't give a like I said, I don't care. I can take my business somewhere else. The woman manages to start yet another fight with a customer. Byron has no other option but to carry the angry woman out of the store and make sure that nobody hurts themselves. Hey. Hello, how are you? How you doing? Um, I was here yesterday and I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. I need this receipt to show what I spent my money on. We don't get receipts. give out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Bitch, I beat your mother you look nice today. Bitch, your mama look nice. Can you give me my receipt, please? Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. So you gonna sit there and act like that? Yes. Bitch, I'll burn this mother down. Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. This lady claims that she spent a grip in the store, but if she's to have any help of reclaiming her money, she needs to get a grip on her temper. But all we know is that it's easier said than done. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I asked for a chinchilla scarf. Yeah. And you sold me a rabbit. A bunny. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it... threw it back at me and told me this ain't chinchilla, this is rabbit. Only one thing's going to clear this up, and of course the customer doesn't have it. Who throws away the receipt before deciding how satisfactory the product is? Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. You don't see this? Look at it. It's flying through there. Look at that. Ain't nothing chinchilla about it. I want my money now. Have a good day. You too. I want my money. Man, I spent good money up in this bitch. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. Looks like the answer is everybody who comes to American Pawn and Jewelry. The next customer on our list has a ton of diamonds, but with no leg to stand on, there really is little the golds can do for her. That's the golden rule. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was nice. Bought, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the uh, receipt? No. Do the gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. Second of all, no cash. on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. There are many things wrong with this lady's jewelry, and Ashley can swear it didn't come from them. Of course, the customer doesn't like the sound of that. Nobody does, and things get more real than her earrings. Oh, here. Oh, well, um, excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here? Don't get no more jewelry from hey, here, because this hey, ain't good. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey, no. hey, Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I ain't Second going option. Where? Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Wait a mother minute, now get your hands off. I guess you leave. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. See you then. Blue ass baby. When a purchaser brings his aunt with him to fight for his rights, you can be sure that it's not going to end well. But if there are any doubts, his response to Seth's golden question clears it up. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. And this is my nephew, nice Leon. Leon. Hey, Leon, nice to meet you. We came up here a couple of weeks ago, and my nephew had pawned his TV in. Uh -huh. Right, so he pawned about three months ago. Yeah, so we're up here now, and all he wants is a remote for his TV. You ever see that you, where you purchased it? Only thing uh, I have. There's no evidence a remote was part of what this lady's dearest nephew bought. But guess when it comes to family, she doesn't believe in following logic. Now it's too bad for the duo that Seth doesn't subscribe to theatrics. Oh, I got it right here. That's the barcode for the TV. Oh, you took the barcode off the TV. If we could just get, get a remote home. for the TV, right. you know, that'd be all good. I can sell you a universal remote no, if you no, like. No, 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 no. Get out of here. My. I get my show. No. I'm not leaving out here till I get my Doors right there. Have a good day. Because you got a big dude, you think you hard? Most customers fight because they got no receipt, but it's rare to see one fight because she wants one. This lady's got to be a pro at doing her tax returns, or in this case, her boyfriend's returns. And I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. They didn't give me a receipt, and I need the receipt. We don't give out receipts. What you mean you don't give out receipts? We don't get our receipts. give out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Well, that escalated fast. What other proof of payment for her own stuff does a lady want? Except that it's back at home with her like the pawn never happened. I need a receipt. My man needs to know what the f I spent my money on. And you sitting there looking all stupid and you can look at me like you stupid if you want to. I want my mother 
receipt. We don't give our receipt. Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. Can I get my receipt? My man wants to know what the I've been doing with my money. Can I get I don't my know what the receipt? you've been doing with your if she doesn't get into trouble with the IRS, she'll definitely get into trouble with the police. Who goes to somebody's territory and threatens them with arson? Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. Raising your voice does not get you better service. The only thing it does is get your ass thrown out of here. We hear funny excuses all the time at the store, but one you don't hear often is that somebody stole my ticket. Okay, to what end? Nobody's taken anything out of pawn with no means of identification. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm coming to get my earrings out. I ain't got my pawn ticket, but I got my ID. Okay, you know it's going to be a $7 charge for the ticket. Right, but somebody stole my ticket. Ma'am, can I help you? I'm overhearing some Who yelling. are you? Who are you? Manager, can I help okay, you? Okay, first of all, y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my receipt? No, you don't have your receipt. The seven dollar extra charge for having no receipt has already gotten the customer into a twist, and when she finds out that there's more to lose, she loses her cool. Can't say I can blame the lady though, with Ashley brandishing the receipt in front of her like that. Oh bad. says it on your ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in, we don't have them. I'm gonna whoop your ass. You are? You them cars in the back of I'm gonna your cars up. And it looks like it's probably time for this lady to get out of here before she ends up hurting somebody. Get out. You get out. Put me out. Put me out. You gotta put me out this bitch. Hey. I ain't going no my you know, that's bitch. Joe. I don't care who he is. Hey, put your stretch pants on. Oh, I'm Girl, sorry. Girl. A biker with attitude and no receipt gets the only remedy for people like him when he starts yelling at Karen for a miracle. Uh, I want my money back or... You bought it here? Go, yes. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm not very happy. Do you have your receipt? No. Does this dude realize the number of people walking through that door daily? Except that he's Ryan Gosling's twin, there's zero chance of Karen remembering the guy. I want my money back or I want another coat. Can't help you unless you have a receipt. I can't give you another call without a receipt. Take, I'll just take one. Then. What do we got? Uh, Byron? What do we you got? You want to assist here? this, sir? What do we with got here? What's wrong? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on. I'll take this man. whole wreck. What? This ain't, this ain't you, man. Calm down, man. Let's go. The last customer on our list isn't too happy with what he got the last time in the store, but this little issue can't work out without a receipt. Hey, man, I need to talk to somebody about this. This piece of junk I bought in here just a couple days ago don't work now. It's broken. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. I didn't think I needed to keep it. There's nothing I can do for you without a receipt. If you had the receipt, I could give you an exchange. I could give you something. I don't want an exchange because it's probably going to be some again. Bless has a solution to all kinds of problems, and it's none other than his trusted security. As expected, Byron provides the swiftest answer to the meathead's issues. Anything. All the, all the, and you can back off too, man. Like all this uh, That's security great. standing around or whatever. I don't give He's a rat's ass my... about that. Well, we don't you know give I mean? a rat's ass either. Like I I'll said, there's no that. receipt. Look here, man. You better back off, too, oh, man. Like, don't touch oh, him. Don't man. Man. Oh, touch him. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Really? Let's go. Hey, let's go. I told you, man. Let's go. This customer came walking into the store with a very ferocious beat to her steps, making it clear that she was pissed off by something or someone. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. Naturally, the scenario she claims now could actually happen, especially after her ticket has expired. But the thing is, Ashley apparently knows how the purse truly made its way onto the shelf. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you money. know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn. Since the lady remained delusional, Ashley tried to make things clear to her in an attempt to stop her from causing more scenes than she already has. If you want to buy it, I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not. First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a and idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter. After that very uncomfortable moment they spent staring each other down, the lady knew she wasn't going to get her way as easily as she thought she would. So she rethought her steps and tried to do the unthinkable. Okay. Oh my God. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Walk yourself out, you. Walk yourself out. 
You'd think those were the worst ones yet, but wait till you see this lady who was trying to bring in her TV. Well, she was until it suffered a pretty nasty fall. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bitch, you hear me? Bitch, you made me drop my TV. You dropped your TV because you wanted to drop With how hard they were going at it, it almost seemed as if the lady was getting ready to get into a physical altercation with the other lady if need be, but Ashley immediately made her way over to handle the situation. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Hey, you she broke my TV I when I came the door. How did she break your TV? Because I told her to hold the door and I dropped it and it cracked. It's cracked. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Um, I don't know. Is you the manager? Yeah, so maybe you're you the manager, to... but you ain't acting like that. Isn't exactly the right way to treat a person trying to help. You can't hold it against Ashley if she decides to toss the annoying woman out now. Like I said, bitch, you gonna pay for my bitch? You hey, gonna pay for bitch, my bitch, bitch, you bitch, 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 bitch? You gonna do? Bitch, you gonna pay for my bitch? Don't act stupid. Despite having gotten her just dessert, the woman refused to relent on her attack and kept on talking up a storm, throwing threats all around without a care to the world. Who is the type that will get smacked? Really? Really. Try it. Y'all got me up. You have Go get one my minute TV. to get your out of our store. After having missed payments for two whole months, this woman had the audacity to complain about the service she got when she tried to pay just a dollar. Hurry up, please. I gotta be working at 3 o'clock, so please. Ma'am, do you wanna come back when you have more time? Can you get somebody else to uh, serve me? If she would have looked at our policy, she would see that on a $1,200 loan, you need to pay $50. Since she seemed uneducated on how things work, Les took it upon himself to kindly explain how things actually work around the shop. If you put anything in layaway, you have to put more money down. But, okay, I understand that. I'm not old, I'm not seen now, I'm not a So fool. you even, well, if you're not a fool, why would you even come in and offer a dollar? The lady was a nasty piece of work, but they had no option other than to attend to her. A customer is still a customer, after all. Despite her very condescending tone, they could only try to help her regardless, as long as she doesn't go too far, of course. Time is ticking, time is So money. why don't you come back when you have time? I live way in my land. I'm not coming back. This is poor business. I don't gave y'all so much money, and then this is how I get treated. Ma'am, you're passing. You know what? I hope you and your money live good on this earth, because when God comes back, baby, no, you're going to be just. Of all the stuff that she's done, what she said was the straw that broke the camel's back. The Golds decided to take necessary measures. you. Please. It takes a lot for my dad to get upset. This lady took it to a whole new level. She crossed the line. Looking to sell a watch, this customer walked up to Les, asking him for $400 for a watch he claimed to have gotten for double the price. Doing good. Man. Good, what can I do for you? Let me at least like 400 for this watch right here. What can I do for you today? Can I get like 400 for this watch right here? We deal in high-end watches. This was worthless. Nothing for us to deal with. Les appraised the watch and pegged it out to be absolutely worthless, a point he made sure to pass across to the man. But instead of just taking his business, this man decided to fly off the handle instead. Well, give me like 450 for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick of living, I'm sick of living at the crib, man. My girl on my head. Well, give me 400 for this watch. 400? No, I'm sorry. Hey, this is a bleep ass place, man. This whole ass place. Les tried to be as nice as possible as he could to the guy, despite how annoying he was, kicking up a fuss and all. He went further and he did something that made Les lose his cool. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick bitch, it up. Follow me. Y'all, don't touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. y'all, man, for real. While trying to deal with a thieving employee, Ashley got dragged into another drama when she had to deal with this man who had just gotten his item out of pawn. Bought him in like what, like two months ago? All of a sudden, it's just up now. <laughs> Those pieces came off. So can you fix them or something for me? Let me see it. Some bulls. I'm like, what the is this? Okay. It's a screw missing, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh... It's quite normal for him to get upset over something like that. It's his item that got damaged after all, but he doesn't have to be that rude about it. Oh. Can you just put a screw in there for me? I just fix my please. I can, I can charge you. You can charge me? Yeah. What kind of is that? I was gonna help you, but your mouth just kept talking. Listen, can you just fix my glasses, please? I will pay for it. Okay. 
15. Things would have gone quite well if he had just done exactly what he did now, but being the undisciplined yoke that he is, he just couldn't help but make some rude comments along the way. A little short ass. Dwarf. It was not like that. Screw was missing his Take it. Go somewhere else. Let me get your money back. Sweat over here. Here's another rude customer who needs a lesson on the proper etiquette needed for engaging strangers, especially strangers helping you out of a bind by buying your item. I was coming to buy my ring because I have to pay my rent. It was due a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? That is real diamond? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This lady thinks that she's some kind of expert and keeps on pestering less with the nonsense that she came up with. $200. 200 Well, what I can do is I can give you $80. $80? $80. That's the only way I'm going to find it. So you going to give me $200 or not? That was pretty atrocious, asking for more than her item's worth. She might be used to getting her way elsewhere, but Les made it clear that that's not how things are going to go today. How would you like Ma'am. Ma'am, what the hey, She can go. She can go. Thank you. This woman came in claiming that she'd pawned her laptop at the store, though she didn't have a pawn ticket to prove it. Fortunately, she had her ID with her. Is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Okay. If you need to see my sure. ID. Oh, there it is. There right you there. got it. Okay, Ms. Bowie, we definitely have you for a coat, so you can go right over to the windows and make it. Unfortunately for her, her name didn't get any hits on the computer, and there was nothing that they could do about that. After all, there's no way that they can just hand her a laptop without seeing a ticket to back the whole thing up. That's my computer, yes, my computer. No, you have a fur coat in front. I, and I understand that, but I have also, I have a computer. Check and give me my computer. I checked and it's not here. I mean, damn, I do a lot of business I in know. here. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. Well, if it's not there, it's not there. Now, it might just be another plot to score a free laptop off the store, but there's no way Les would let something like that happen ever. Well, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here till you get stick my computer. Ma'am, stick around. I mean, I try to live a Christian life. She's a nice, polite Christian woman. Yeah, right. If I'm stupid, you stupid. Fine. Now what? We just two stupid mother. Well, the problem is this okay. stupid mother isn't going to yeah, help. Yeah. This customer just makes you wonder what's wrong with the world. Ashley couldn't even manage to hide her shock when she found out why she came to the store. Coming in to try and get like. 1500 for this. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. You're true, right? Just, that's just my man. Right. He does me good, okay? Although the entire thing is absolutely astonishing, Ashley can only move on. After all, it's a deal waiting to be made. Are you going to check the cars out or what? You want like 50 bucks? No, not 50 bucks. I want 1500 for I these. I can't help you with that. I said. I don't care what you said. I don't want to hear that. I want 1500 Some people are just bonkers, and that's really clear to see. After all, a card store would obviously be the best option for items like this. And to top it all off, her demands are just way too unreasonable. They don't owe her a dime. 1500 What part of that you ain't understanding? I understand everything. You ain't You're not getting it. Let's play some sports. 100. Seth had to attend to this guy who came in looking to get a camera. What he did after he showed him an affordable piece of the ones they had available they had Seth floored. I'm looking for cameras. What kind of good cameras you yeah, got? Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, so some point oh, and shoot okay, right over here. here. All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. That logic is absolutely absurd, and there's no way Seth would just let him keep their merchandise on his person without having paid for it. Can you just keep it on the showcase for me, please? Why can't you just keep it Well, if you pay me for it right now, I'll let you put it in your pocket. Byron, you want to hold on to this gentleman's camera that he's about to purchase from me? What, are you trying to call me a thief or something? No, I'm just telling you that he'll hold on to your camera until you're ready to buy something. Since the guy seems to be pretty lacking in the wisdom department, Seth decided to share a few nuggets of his own. Part of being the owner of this place, it doesn't have to make sense to everybody as long as it makes sense to me. Well, it sounds to me like you're trying to call me a thief. I ain't no, no thief. Well, I'll solve that. Thank you, sir. He's just irredeemable at this point. And if he wasn't a thief like he claimed, he wouldn't have had an issue paying for the camera. Now, would he? 
You can leave, sir. I'd like to be able to walk around the store, and then I'll show you my money when it's time to clock out. Byron, clock his ass out. This woman walks into the pawn shop for anything around the $100 range. A watch or an excellent band would do. But little did the customer, Ashley or her girlfriend, know that they were about to go into an entire bout the next minute over a $100 card. Yeah. Hi. I'm looking for a watch. Buy me about $100. I got $100 to spend. All right. Do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. Good on you. It was $100. 100 I'll take it. OK? What is this? It's a $100 gift card. All right. Gift card? $100 gift card. These are not our gift cards. Ashley explained that the card is meant to reduce how much you pay and is never to be used for any direct payment. But this customer is not waiting to have that conversation. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? What is she going to say? What y'all don't understand up in here? Show her where the money's at. My money. He's going to show you where the money's at. Hey, walk up. I need my money. What's you so mad for? Go ahead. The crazy customer takes a cone in exchange for her television. Now, she plans to scare an employee and make them do what she thinks, but Les is trained as employees well. Procedures first, actions later. It's like a good honeymoon. Meanwhile, standing behind the counter is Hurricane Ashley, and behind the customer is Big Joe. Excuse me. Hello? Hi. Right. Yes, um, my boyfriend found my TV, um, and I need it back. I don't got no slip or nothing, but I need my TV. What you can do, since it's uh -uh. not legal for us to look up somebody no. else's look name. Up my TV, lady. No, I will not. Don't, uh -uh, don't do that to me. Or what's going to happen? Look, bring your ass out here talking to me. This. I think this is my TV over here. Excuse me. This looks like my TV right here. First off, you don't exactly look like you own a TV that large. Second, don't ever go beyond what you can handle. And before you go and do something stupid, Hurricane Ashley is going to have Big Joe send you out of the premises. The good thing is that Big Joe doesn't have the time for her nonsense and drama. Can you get this? Because this man. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. So if you want to buy that one, no, I don't want to buy. I want my mother TV off this bitch. I ain't buying. Bye. Get your big ass off me. Get your big ass off me. I suggest you leave. I do what I want to do. Bye. Get your big ass off me. Oh, y'all don't want to give me my I'm taking this <laughs> Seth and Rich got themselves a flirty visitor in the form of a customer, dolled up and sucking on a pacifier. But don't be fooled by the appearance. Baby's got the spirit of business running in her veins. Yeah, need some help. I'm you got sorry. it? My name is Bebe. Bebe, no kidding. Bebe. <laughs> What's your name again? I'm Seth. So, you need a loan or you want to sell it? Hello. Hello. About 300 bucks. Since Baby's not getting the necessary attitude and attention from Seth, she turns to Rich, who has fixated his gaze on Baby. In that singular moment, Seth gets the idea to do something crazy to brighten the mood before proceeding with the sale. <laughs> You want to taste my ring? No. Or lick it? No. Would you suck on that pacifier for 20 bucks? You can lick it. I know you want to. No. Seth is bent on getting that pacifier in someone's mouth, so he upped the offer. Rich is aiding Seth, but the security guy's not in league with all of this, as the pacifier goes from baby's mouth to Rick's. I'll buy you lunch for the week. What? This, you know what? Don't try to walk me out. What? 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 The disgruntled wife wants her ring back after her husband had pawned it off for some personal cash. When Ashley asked for the ticket to validate her claim, she had only a laundry story for an excuse. That's me. How can I help you? My wedding ring that's $5,000, you guys have it. I want it back. Okay. I just want to come in pay for it and get my ring back. Did you make a police report? No, I didn't make a police report. The hell am I gonna make a police report for? Now Ashley feels pity and wants to help, but the company policy demands a pawn ticket to show proof of ownership. And this seems like a family issue. She doesn't want to put her neck in it, but the conversation gets heated in a pinch. Think about asking your husband for the ticket. Oh my God, 
I want my ring. Can okay, you so get let in me... the computer okay, so and let look me... up the name, okay, tell me how so... much I owe you. Let me talk. Give me my ring. You bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Wait, bring it. Do you shut up for a oh, second? Okay. You ain't never shut get up. Get the hell out of here. No, it's time to go. Up yours. I want to see you oh. walk out. A man with an unhappy home tries to intrude into Les Gold's marital history and gets what he deserves. Dude's got a foul mouth, fake jewelry, and maybe a fake wife, as he might just be delusional. Hi. Hi, how are you? Brian, I'm last. Nice to meet you. I need to get a watch for my wife's anniversary. Oh. Huh. It's probably worth a lot of money. I just want to bring it up here to see what you think uh, you can give me for it. Maybe we'll do a trade for a watch. They're not real. <laughs> give me a, let me see what you got in watches and take these. I have a lot of watches, but I'm not taking those. He tries to play his cards, and as they're all jumbled up, he picks up the wrong card to play against Les. The family card he took too far, and Les took it personally promptly. I got an anniversary coming up. I'm not getting in trouble. You're married, right? I am. Okay, I've seen your wife. Lucky you. Yeah, lucky me. I don't think so. What did you just say? You heard what I said. Listen, mother There's two things you don't talk about. What's that? My wife and my family. Two people! Fat man! Get the out of here! Get the 